In 2025, scientists made a discovery that stunned the marine biology world. 866 new species were found in the ocean's most unexplored regions, from abyssal plains to hydrothermal vents. Some are beautiful, others are terrifying, but all of them are completely alien to us. In this video, we'll dive into the weirdest, most jaw-dropping deep-sea creatures that science has just uncovered. Get ready. The ocean is stranger than we ever imagined. Our first bizarre discovery from 2025 is something that looks like it crawled out of a deep-sea nightmare. The spiderfin ghostfish, found nearly 18,000 feet deep in the South Pacific. This translucent predator has long, spindly fins that resemble spider legs. Not for crawling, but for sensing vibrations in pitch-black water. Its body is nearly see-through, with a glowing blue spinal column and organs visible under the skin. The ghost fish is slow-moving, almost like it's floating in zero gravity, but it can strike with lightning speed. Its jaws dislocate like a snake's, letting it gulp prey twice its size. Scientists believe this species evolved in near-total isolation, which explains its alien look. It's not just rare. It's never been seen alive until now. And the name? Ghostfish doesn't just refer to its appearance. It literally vanishes in low light thanks to its nearly perfect camouflage. Up next, a creature that looks more like blown glass than biology. Meet the shattered glass snail. Recently discovered over 20,000 feet deep near the mid-Atlantic ridge, this snail's silica, the same stuff in glass. But here's the twist. Its shell doesn't just look fragile, it is. When threatened, the snail can eject its own shell in pieces, like breaking glass, to startle predators. Scientists were stunned to find that it can regrow this crystal-like armor within weeks. The regenerative process is still a mystery, but early scans show a unique biomineral not found in any other known species. Even more fascinating, the snail's flesh glows faint purple, likely a chemical defense signal to ward off enemies. With its delicate design, self-shattering shell, and living glow, the shattered glass snail is a biological paradox, fragile, yet incredibly adaptive. Don't let the name fool you. This isn't a panda or even a fish. The skeleton panda sea squirt is one of the strangest invertebrates ever found. Discovered during a deep-sea survey in the Pacific Ocean, this creature sits anchored to the seafloor like a ghostly statue. Its white, bone-like outer frame looks eerily like a panda's skull, while black splotches on its body give it that uncanny name. But it's not just its appearance that's weird. The sea squirt is a filter feeder, absorbing nutrients by pumping seawater through its body, with no brain at all. And get this, scientists believe this creature could be part of an ancient lineage, with almost no genetic change for millions of years. It's not just weird looking, it's prehistoric. In the deep, where evolution takes strange turns, the skeleton panda sea squirt is proof that nature has a wild imagination. Next up, meet one of the most bizarre predators ever discovered. The barely fish, found at depths of up to 2,600 feet, this small fish might look unassuming until you see its head. The barely has a completely transparent, dome-shaped skull. Through it, you can see its large, tubular green eyes that rotate inside the head. This allows it to look straight up or forward while staying motionless in the water. Scientists believe this weird adaptation evolved to spot prey silhouetted against faint surface light and to avoid being seen by predators. It's a stealthy stalker, gliding silently, waiting to ambush jellyfish, zooplankton, or anything foolish enough to drift nearby. With a see-through head and internal motion-tracking eyes, the barrel eye is a living example of alien-like evolution. Discovered only in 2005, the Yeti crab looks like something from a sci-fi fantasy. Living near hydrothermal vents over 7,000 feet below the surface, this crab is instantly recognizable by its hairy, clawed arms, thick with white bristles that resemble fur. But these aren't just for show. The Yeti crab actually farms bacteria on these bristles. 
Scientists believe it uses its claws to wave hydrogen sulfide-rich water from the vents toward the bacteria, feeding them, and then scrapes them off to eat. It's a bizarre example of deep-sea symbiosis, where life thrives in complete darkness, relying not on sunlight, but on chemosynthesis. Blind, white, and ghostly pale, the Yeti crab is specially adapted for the toxic, high-pressure vents of the deep. It's not just surviving in one of Earth's most extreme places, it's thriving. Lurking on the ocean floor like a prehistoric tank is the giant isopod, a crustacean that looks like it crawled straight out of a sci-fi horror movie, related to the pill bugs you. You find in your backyard, these deep sea cousins have evolved into giants, some growing over 2.5 feet long. Their massive segmented shells protect them from predators and pressure alike. But what makes them really strange is their lifestyle. Giant isopods are deep sea scavengers, roaming the ocean floor in search of sunken corpses, from fish to whale falls. And they can go years without eating, slowing their metabolism to a crawl. But when food finally arrives, they gorge themselves until they can barely move. Their sharp mandibles, spiny legs, and uncanny stare give them a truly alien appearance. Yet they play a critical role in recycling dead matter in the abyss nature's armored cleanup crew, hiding in the shadows where light can't reach. Now, prepare to witness something truly alien. This is the barrel eye fish, a deep sea creature with a see-through head. Yes, you heard that right. Its entire skull dome is transparent, revealing its internal organs and two barrel-shaped eyes that rotate inside its head. For decades, scientists thought the green orbs were nostrils or lights, but high-resolution footage revealed the truth. The eyes are tubular, highly sensitive, and can move inside the skull to focus upward or forward. Why this bizarre adaptation? In the twilight zone of the ocean, light is scarce. The barrel eye's unique vision lets it track the faint glow of bioluminescent prey above, while keeping its body hidden below. It barely moves, hovering in place with an almost ghostly stillness, waiting to ambush prey, drifting in front of it. A creature of pure evolutionary strangeness, the barrel eye fish remains one of the most surreal discoveries in marine biology. At first glance, you might think it's a shadow or a trick of the light, but then it opens its mouth. Meet the pelican eel, also known as the gulper eel, a deep sea predator with a jaw so massive it can engulf prey larger than itself. Its lower jaw unhinges like a pelican's pouch, stretching impossibly wide, earning it its name. But unlike pelicans, this eel lives over 3,000 meters below the surface. The pelican eel's body is thin and whip-like, with a tail tipped by a glowing, bioluminescent lure. It waves that glowing tip in the dark, attracting curious prey. And when something gets close, wham! The jaws swing open with shocking speed, trapping fish, squid, or anything unlucky enough to investigate. Despite looking like a monster, the pelican eel has no teeth and a surprisingly small stomach. It doesn't chew, it just swallows whole. A living net in the black abyss, the pelican eel reminds us how strange survival becomes when light disappears. At first glance, it looks like something straight out of a Pixar movie, but this is no cartoon character. This is the Dumbo octopus, named for the ear-like fins that flap gently on either side of its head. Living at depths of up to 13,000 feet, Dumbo octopuses are the deepest living octopuses ever discovered. Unlike their shallow water cousins, they don't use jet propulsion to move. Instead, they rely on those floppy fins to glide peacefully through the dark ocean like a ghostly ballerina. Their skin is semi-translucent, ranging from creamy white to pale pink, and their arms are lined with frilly webs that help steer them like a deep-sea kite. With no ink sac, because there's no need to hide in the pitch black, Dumbo octopuses use stealth and softness to survive. And when it's time to eat, they pounce on small crustaceans and worms using their webbed arms like a net, swallowing their prey whole, graceful, fragile, and totally alien. The Dumbo octopus reminds us how elegant deep sea life can truly be. Now for something truly ghoulish. Imagine a creature that eats bones for a living. These are zombie worms. Yes, that's their actual name. Also called Osidax, they were found burrowed into the bones of dead whales lying on the ocean floor. But here's the wild part. Zombie worms have no mouth, no stomach, and no eyes. Instead, they grow root-like structures into the bone, where symbiotic bacteria help them dissolve and absorb fats and proteins. In 2025, researchers discovered a new species of zombie worm in the Pacific, deeper than 10,000 feet. 
thriving on the bones of a sunken sperm whale. And the weirdness doesn't stop there. Only the females are visible, the males are microscopic and live inside the females, basically existing to fertilize eggs. It's the most macabre alien mating system you've never imagined, and it's 100% real. They might look like plump jelly marshmallows with legs, but sea pigs are vital to life in the deep ocean. These strange creatures, a type of sea cucumber, roam the ocean floor over 12,000 feet deep, searching for decaying organic matter. In 2025, a new species of sea pig was discovered in the Indian Ocean's abyssal plain with translucent skin and bubble-like nodules on its back. They use their tube-like legs, which can number up to 20 tiny feet, to crawl slowly across the seafloor. And they breathe through their butts. Yes, literally. Their body acts like a living vacuum cleaner, absorbing nutrients from marine snow, the endless shower of dead plankton, and particles falling from above. Their role as ecosystem recyclers is crucial. Without them, the deep sea would become a toxic graveyard. And despite their awkward look, they're surprisingly graceful as they drift and walk across the ocean desert. These are comb jellies, or tenophores, and they're not true jellyfish. Their name comes from the rows of tiny, hair-like cilia, or combs, they use to swim. As these combs move, they scatter light into dazzling rainbow trails, an effect so hypnotic it feels like CGI but it's all natural. Unlike other deep sea creatures that use chemical bioluminescence, comb jellies diffract light, bending it into color as they move. In 2025, researchers documented a new species with ultra-thin tentacles that could retract instantly like a whip, stunning prey with microscopic cells. But here's the twist. Some comb jellies don't digest their food. They absorb it at a molecular level. They're delicate, brainless, and almost invisible. Yet somehow, they're ancient survivors, tracing back over 500 million years. A living light show that's been around longer than the dinosaurs and may still outlive us. Imagine descending into the ocean and coming face to face with a living mass of writhing threads. Meet the spaghetti worm, an invertebrate so strange it looks like someone spilled noodles on the ocean floor. But these noodles are feeding tentacles, dozens of them extending meters away from the worm's soft body, buried deep in the seafloor. Each tentacle is sticky, sensitive, and specialized to collect food particles from the water and sand. In 2025, a newly discovered deep sea species was found over 3,000 meters down, with translucent tentacles that glow faintly when disturbed. The real surprise? It doesn't move much. Instead, it builds tube-like burrows and waits, passively farming nutrients. Some species even regrow lost tentacles, making them almost immortal in their quiet, patient way. In a world of monstrous jaws and bioluminescent hunters, the spaghetti worm survives by being gentle and smart, proof that in the deep sea, even the weirdest strategies can work beautifully. Lurking silently on the seafloor, its delicate arms outstretched like a flower. But this is no plant. It's the Venus flytrap anemone, a creature that blends elegance with lethal precision. Found over 6,000 meters deep, this strange anemone earned its name by mimicking the iconic land-based Venus flytrap. Its tentacles form a wide, circular trap that snaps shut the moment prey drifts too close. Small shrimp, plankton, or even unlucky fish. In 2025, marine biologists discovered a larger-than-usual variant near the Mariana Trench. Its body glowed with faint bioluminescent patterns, possibly to attract prey in the abyss. What makes it terrifying is its patience. It doesn't chase, it doesn't flee. It waits, hours, days, even weeks, until something wanders into its open arms. And when it does, the trap closes, slowly, inevitable. In the world of deep sea survival, stillness is power, and beauty can be deadly. If dinosaurs ruled the land millions of years ago, this creature ruled the ocean. Meet the frilled shark, a deep sea predator so ancient, it's often called a living fossil. First described in the 1800s, but seen alive only in recent decades, the frilled shark has barely changed in 80 million years. Its long, eel-like body, lined with prehistoric frills of gill slits, glides silently through the darkness. But it's those teeth that truly haunt your mind. Over 300 razor-sharp, needle-like teeth arranged in 25 rows, angled backward to trap anything it bites. In 2025, researchers encountered a rare pregnant female deep off the coast of Japan the first live footage of this species in years. It moved slowly, deliberately, 
almost ghost-like. Unlike most sharks, it doesn't lunge. It lunges like a snake, coiling its body and striking with terrifying speed. The frilled shark is a relic of the past, not extinct, not evolved, just waiting in silence for prey that has no idea what's coming. In the deep sea, evolution doesn't always move forward. Sometimes, it stands still. Imagine a creature so bright, so flamboyant, it looks like it belongs in a neon nightclub, not 4,000 feet below the surface. Meet the Carnival Sea Slug, newly discovered in 2025 off the coast of the Philippines. A species of nudibranch, this tiny invertebrate might be only a few centimeters long, but it's a technicolor marvel. Its body glows with stripes of electric blue, fluorescent pink, and lime green, all outlined with a luminescent white trim that pulses as it moves. Scientists believe these flashing colors serve as a warning to predators. I might be pretty, but I'm poisonous. What makes it even weirder? It dances. The slug's undulating movement pattern looks like a slow underwater salsa, a behavior likely used to confuse predators and impress mates. During a 2025 dive, a marine biologist described it as like watching a parade float drifting through space. Small, slow, and stunning, the carnival sea slug proves the deep sea isn't just dark and scary. Sometimes it's just plain fabulous. At first glance, it looks like a jelly or maybe a lump of gel, but this newly discovered creature, unofficially dubbed the deep sea blob, might be one of the strangest survivalists in the ocean. Found at depths near 7,000 meters, this species has no rigid structure. It can literally dissolve its body, structure under stress, and then reform itself once the threat passes. When predators approach, the blob melts into the seafloor, camouflaging itself as a harmless patch of goo. Scientists were stunned to find that after hours, even days, it could reassemble its cells and resume swimming. Its anatomy defies conventional biology. No bones, no defined muscles, just a loose collection of neurogelatinous tissue that communicates through pulses and vibrations. And its behavior? Pure science fiction. One researcher compared it to a shape-shifting puddle with a nervous system. For now, it's one of the least understood animals discovered in 2025, but it might hold secrets about how life adapts to crushing pressure. By becoming pressureless itself, imagine stepping across the ocean floor and nearly sitting on a rock, but hidden in plain sight is the newly discovered stonefish imposter, an extraordinary species found in 2025 at nearly 5,000 meters depth. Its mossy, rough-textured body blends perfectly with rocky seabed formations. It doesn't move, and sometimes it doesn't even react when touched. With algae-like filaments and bony ridges, it's mastered camouflage to the extreme. But it's not just hiding, it's hunting. When unsuspecting prey passes too close, it snaps out a tentacle-like mouth in a blink faster than any camera can catch. This ambush predator has no eyes, relying on vibration sensors beneath its rocky surface to detect movement. And here's the kicker. It reuses visual camouflage from its environment. Small stones and debris stick to its body like living armor. The stonefish imposter proves that sometimes the best disguise isn't color or glow. It's invisibility through imitation. From transparent skulls to shape-shifting blobs, 866 new marine species discovered in 2025 unlocked worlds we didn't know existed. Each creature reveals a unique survival trick, some beautiful, some horrifying all alien. The ocean remains Earth's final frontier, and every expedition teaches us how much we don't know. Which creature amazed or creeped you out the most? Drop a comment. Subscribe for more Deep Sea Mysteries. Until next time, keep wondering, because our planet still holds secrets beyond imagination. 